Hello and welcome to our daily sketching routine. It is Thursday, September 19th, 2024, and today's topic is hmm, <laughs> sketching poses from imagination with action. I don't know. I might call it something else, but that's the basic idea. And I thought that we could just stick with poses and uh, sketching from imagination. I think it's... Uh, I like the direction of that. Um, and the, the other thing is I suggest using like a marker. Like I usually use a medium point so this would be like a like a bigger um, for this exercise, this demonstration. And I'll start a five minute timer for those of you that like that. Uh, such as me. So yeah, get a marker. So we're going to um, basically do gestures and it's going to be from imagination. We're not going to look at anything. We'll use our brains. And it's good to hold it, like use that, the loose grip that I've talked about and then with a bigger marker. Um, or some other, like it could be a pencil, but um, basically just to not worry about details, that's the big thing. And to just let, since we are using imagination, to let it like see what comes out <laughs> of, the, uh, of our imagination. So action implies movement. So this marker's dry. There. Get it flowing. And I think it'll eventually. <laughs> so the idea is that don't try to think too much about um, it's going to be people. But um, don't try to think too much about like the proportion. Um, I'm gonna do a couple because there's some more steps involved, so I'll have enough time to do a couple of these. But uh, yeah, just whatever, like just come up with something. But it implies like movement. And yeah, just let like the random randomness of it help out. Then the next step is to take a smaller pen. Um, so I'll go with my usual medium point. Um, and here, just use circles and ovals. And so what I'm going to do is if I see like a shoulder, I'm going to just use ovals and then like the hands could be so start to have a little bit of the proportion but not too much because that'll be the next step but yeah like if I I'll just start drawing uh, like the feet could just be just keep everything ovals so that you don't even so that you don't think about it too much because a lot of this is going to come from like here it's just coming from some kind of mental process like the imagination <laughs> where 
Yeah, like if you see a shoulder, like see now we start to be a little bit more analytical, but I still suggest using um, ovals so that you don't try to get too bogged down with um, anatomy and stuff. But like start to make it look a little bit realistic. So for example, you have the, the rib cage and then like the pelvis. If some things are hidden, then keep it hidden. I mean, if you if you can just use this as like an inspiration, which is funny because that's what people try to say. Like, as far as like reference or even AI or something like. Oh yeah, I'd use it for inspiration. And I'm thinking, this is inspiration. Like, what's the difference? Except this one, you can feel happy that like you actually learned how to do it. So my point is, you can come up with something. It's not that difficult. See, like it's not that hard. And again, I'm just gonna do these two right here. And then, but if you wanna keep practicing, um, that's five minutes. You can like do more of just these. Um, so just whatever, like whatever your, your hand like, comes up with. So then from here, the next step would be just to, again, keep the shape simple. I find that ovals work because you don't have to think about it too much. And then, yeah, this could work with animals. Um, I just have to do more animal studies just for the, the anatomy of it. So, so yeah, it's pretty easy to come up with a pose. Now, obviously, you could have something specific in mind, but you don't even have to know what you're drawing, <laughs> except that it's a person. So now that you did that, so we went from like general, like kind of the broad strokes to like a more refining then we'll do the opposite now we're going to take this and we're going to use it as reference and then use the the medium point so now i've gone over how to set up the figure how to do like the construction of the figure um, i'm just going to use this one and so you can check that out in the figure drawing playlist or use whatever method this is this is how i do it so um now start to think about the actual like proportions so so you went from not really thinking about that to sort of um, pulling in the proportion and now be a little bit more accurate so for example uh, this is the collarbone this is the Think about like the, like that's the collarbone and that's the, um, the hips. See? So start to think about the forms basically is really what's happening here. Um, but you have your reference right there. So however you wanna, set up the figure now you start to make it look like more anatomically correct so at this stage it's really about the form and since I'm not concentrating like that much on like making it look just like this make this version of it like look correct 
again, it's because I'm not trying to like make this figure like do something. I'm just going off of imagination. Um, so it could be whatever this kind of looks like. It could be a sword or something. Oh, you're not seeing it. Sorry about that. Okay. Hopefully I didn't get too much of that cut off from the camera. Um, now what's cool about this is that after you came up with all of this stuff, I mean, you can look up reference and it'll still be your drawing. So it depends on like, for example, if this is a swordsman, um, I would keep the figure pretty simple because I might look up reference for the, the armor and like the sword and stuff. And so what's nice about it is because of the gesture, it also kind of gives you the, um, like an interesting perspective, the camera angle. So yeah, let me do this one real quick. If I can see that. So that's five minutes. I'll start another five minute timer. So yeah, I would just set up, again, just use that as reference, like kind of like those um, uh, wooden figure dummy things. <laughs> So remember, like, I went over, um, like, if the figure starts to turn, it starts to, like, become more circular. So yeah, use whatever basic forms works for you. So this one has some foreshortening here. starts to suggest something like a character so yeah that, that's so first do like the big gesture just draw in some basic bubble shapes <laughs> and then start to make it more anatomically correct right here and then the next thing and these are just some tips that so you started with the, the big marker and then went in with like smaller and then here you can do the opposite and just pick like a side for the, just pick like a lighting situation. So for example, I'm just going to do something kind of basic. Um, and this will help to um, further give you reference. Right. It'll help you to draw the figure. And then the next step is, uh, let's say you want to look up reference or you have some ideas that you want to um, like you want to design something. So like, for example, like the, the, the head, you could just, um, do this kind of thing, like a study of it. And you already have like your lighting and stuff. So you can just 
just kind of use that as a guide. And so yeah, this is all from imagination. I mean, I'll do some like animals, I guess. I don't draw them too often. But I just, but I mean, once you kind of know like their form and stuff, it's not that, they're pretty similar to, to humans, I guess. So anyway, you could do studies like that if you want to figure out like what the hand is doing, you can zoom in and Do a study of the hand. That kind of thing. Let's say you want to um, design the armor or something. And you can uh, do a study of the leg. Or look up reference at this point and it will look like you're drawing. So that's another five minutes. I'll just start to wrap this up because I think you, you get the idea. But yeah, you can figure out like how the armor might look. Again, I mean, look it up if you're not sure. I'm not 100% sure how armor. I just kind of sort of know it. Um, like the feet, you can figure that out. Like the shoes, can you see that? So yeah, this was a method of coming up with your own poses, your own characters, drawing from imagination. Um, hopefully you found it helpful, and if you did, um, uh, I'd appreciate a like or a subscribe or comment if you have questions or comments. And I do appreciate the support for the channel. It keeps me going. and. Until next time, keep on sketching.